So finding yourself as a solo in a team game mode, whew, that can be challenging. You know, sometimes there's just not much your team can do to stay alive, and there's just not always much that you can do to save them either. And at times like these, you have no other option but to clutch up as a solo. Bunch of crunch time, where you at? Today, we're gonna be going over some ways that you can successfully win team modes as a solo, and going over a pro as an example on how you can clutch up and get those placement points and stay in the game as late as possible. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Fighting a full team alone can be very overwhelming, right? But it's not impossible. Okay, so you're gonna have to be fast, smart, unpredictable, and you're gonna have to take advantage, guys, of everything that you can. So having a full team track your every move means that you barely have any room for mistakes and almost no time to stop and think. All right, let's just say that you and your teammates were fighting another team, right? And they destroyed your teammates before you could even prevent it. You now have no time to think since they just shook down one of your teammates and they're all coming after you. So the first thing that you should do is spread out a few boxes in brick or metal, all right? Making your boxes in different directions and just climbing all the cones, walls, and floors. So if possible, man, like get to a nearby building to save your mats and just give you more room to just work with. And then again, just claim as many cones, walls, and floors that you can. But I will say this, do not trap yourself in a corner or an area without an exit. This is gonna allow the team to jump in your box and eliminate you with ease. So if you do this accidentally, <laughs> claim at least one of the walls, floors, or just roofs near you as fast as you can so you just have an exit if needed, all right? Now that you're spread out with lots of area claimed around you, the enemy team will be forced into unsafe situations where they must pressure hard mats in places they can't build. This is gonna give you many opportunities to outplay them and they can no longer avoid. So make sure that you're constantly running around in all directions with unpredictable movement and building new boxes while doing so. All right, so this is gonna make it hard for the enemy team to make plays and give you time to look for your own plays as well as just chip off damage with smart peaks. But don't trade any shots during the fight, man. Like you'll rarely have time just to heal when you're fighting a full team as a solo. So all peaks should be as safe as possible. Let me say this, like if you're still having trouble finding those smart peaks. You guys gotta check out Pro Guys Coaching. I mean, we got a bunch of insane players that you can play with who can help you improve, you know, your game faster than you can on your own. So, you know, with our new courses from Top Pros, you're gonna get all the advice you need to go on your journey to making it pro. So check out the description link Click up at the top or visit ProGuys.com to get started. So if you notice your opponents are split up, it's the perfect opportunity to take advantage of peace control. You can push the closest member of the enemy team or just simply bait them into pressuring your wall. And once they're right next to your box, quickly just edit when they least expect it and just box them up with every build claim. Preferably with them being under a stair you placed. And once you do that, all right, you could just edit out the box and right hand peek through a window or you could just flip your stair towards you on your left and just right hand peek that. Plays like this Bunch of Grunts Army, like they're so important in fights against teams since they allow you to take out one of the enemies before they even expect it. But make sure that you safely get your finishes after every knock. It's gonna refresh your mats, possibly give you better loot, and give you quick health in arena and tournaments. Also, okay, you're gonna to need to make sure that you don't miss too many shots or just mess up too many edits. Every mistake similar to this, when you're against a full team, yo, that's gonna make the fight harder and harder. Speaking of edits, all right, every edit that you make in a fight like this, it has to be unpredictable. Like you wouldn't wanna just be destroying a full team and just have that quickly ended by something as simple as a wide edit that you make towards an opponent who was ready for it. All right, guys, so my last tip for a situation like this is make sure you do that tunnel vision. So an example of this would be, okay, if you get one of the players to one HP, right? And you fully focus that player no matter how much they're running while completely ignoring all the shots that you're tanking from his teammates. So doing something like this could very well lead you guys to be eliminated since there's still other players that you should be focusing on that can do things like peace control before you even notice. So of course, it's good to focus on someone who's one HP, but not to the point where you're losing more than you're gaining, all right? So to avoid this guys, just make sure that you're paying attention to your surroundings and other players' locations while trying to finish off your opponents. Definitely gonna help you a ton, I promise. Okay guys, so another option for a fight like this could be to bait third parties to come and fight the team on you, which may allow you to hide and just wait till they all leave <laughs> or run away while they're fighting. Okay, so you could do this if you know that there's a nearby team. Shooting your AR at the nearby team and then the team you're currently fighting may force them to shoot each other since the nearby team will most likely shoot you back. 
which could eventually start a team fight. So a different way that you could bait a third party to fight the team on you is to tarp directly to the third party, leading the team that's already on you to them. And if you pull this off, guys, like you could once again hide and just wait till they leave or just run away as they fight. Also, you can join in on the team fight for some possibly free eliminations. Why not? But it's probably best just to leave while you can before the fight is over. So Extra Reed is a professional controller player known by many for his insane peace control and precise mechanics. Okay, so many of you guys have discovered Reed from his unbelievable solo trio streams and, and you know, videos where he queues up for Champions League Trio Arena and has teammates leave when he gets into a game. The guy absolutely dominates full teams, man, landing hot drops and winning games with nearly 40 kills alone. This is exactly why he's the perfect match for our solo clutch example. All right. When Reed's fighting a full team, he takes advantage of things like the area around him, right hand peaks, uh, high walls, his aim, the most notable, his insane peace control. If you don't know what high walls are, all right, it's when you build two walls on top of each other for more protection above you and more peace control opportunities. So taking advantage of things like this and your biggest strengths will greatly increase your chances of clutching fights against an entire team. So let's just say that you win the fight against the full team from this example that we talked about earlier. I know after winning a fight like that, I mean, it's easy to get pumped up, which, which is good, but the game's not over yet. All right, yeah, focus back up, come on. If you couldn't get your teammates reboot cards during the fight, you're gonna have to get as many placement points as you can, and maybe even the win. Now, the majority of the lobby will still be full teams, so you have to make every decision in the safest possible way. And don't doubt yourself for a second because you need to believe in yourself at this moment, all right? I believe in you, so believe in yourself. So this means you're going to have to take advantage of the dead side, the zone rotations, and natural mobility from the current season. You want to avoid every player possible, so just try not to shoot or just use cars unless you have, unless you absolutely have to. And if available, guys, all right, setting a bounty on a team will be very useful to know where they are so you can avoid them. Okay, so in case you guys don't know what dead side or zone rotating is, all right, I'm going to explain really quick. Dead side is the side of every zone that the least amount of players will be located in. So fighting dead side is, you know, pretty easy once you know how to do it. So let's just go through it real quick. All right, so let's just say first zone pulls over sweaty sands and holly edges. With some of it being in the ocean on the west side of the map, this would make the very west side of edge of the map dead side, since no teams are going to have to rotate to that side of the map. Also, make sure that you rotate around the edge of the map that's closest to the dead side if possible. And this is going to help you guys avoid fights on that way. So zone rotating is when you use heals like med kits to late rotate safely into the storm, making fights very rare and really giving you guys the time to get a safe part of the zone, like dead side. And a good time to do this is if you're in a situation where the zone pulls very far from your location, meaning you have to rotate directly to the zone, possibly causing fights on the way. And if you have no natural mobility like cars, zero point crystals, or sand tunneling, your best option is to zone rotate. So once you make it to the end game during your solo clutch, you're going to want to use all your mobility for the first few zones of it, meaning zones like half and half and first moving. And so this is to avoid getting team sprayed or lobby focused when there's room between you and your opponents. And once you make it through those zones, you're gonna want to tarp with as little mass as you can and just use already placed bouncers from other teams since it's just very hard to get refreshes against full teams, right? Also, all right, try to avoid everybody that you can at this point. Like if a team notices that you're solo in the end game, they're just gonna jump in your box immediately. So most of the time, you know, the best that you can do in an end game against entire teams is get second. Since the players who usually win are full teams on high ground. But winning is definitely a possibility if you play your cards right, you know, you definitely have to hit your shots and you're going to have to outsmart the final team with your every move. It's not impossible. It's definitely not impossible. All things are possible, but you have to believe, right? All right, guys. So to end off this video, let's go through the most important things that we learned today. You guys ready? Here we go. I hope you're still here, by the way. Come on, Bunch of Corn Army. Here we go. Let's do this. Clutching a fight against a full team is far from easy, all right? But if you take advantage of peace control, fast movement, unpredictable edits, nearby buildings, and possibly bait other teams around you to just join the fight, it's definitely possible. If rebooting your team is impossible, all right, you can use dead side, zone rotations, natural mobility, and bounties to avoid the other teams in mid-game. And when you can make it to the end game, all right, making use of the mobility early on, you have to use mat, saving tarps, and avoiding all your opponent's sight, whew, it may get you that victory out. 
There's nothing quite like the rush of just pulling that solo clutch that moment, right? And I hope after watching this video, you have the confidence, guys, to go out there and make those plays. You can do it. It's time to raise our game. Time to take it to the next level. That means you have to raise your mindset, raise your practice, and I'm telling you, you're gonna go so far. Hey, if you wanna connect with my Instagram, I would love to talk to you at Your Motivation Guy. And also like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have so much more great content coming out. All right, we'll see you soon, Punch of Crunch Army. Peace. Oh,